Hello and welcome to my very first YouTube video. Today I'll be sharing with you guys an in-depth butterfly tutorial and in the future you can look forward to more tutorials, swatches. I want to also do some videos on makeup, how we can incorporate makeup into face painting and vice versa. So if that sounds good to you, you may want to subscribe if you feel like it. At this time, I don't quite have an upload schedule. I'll be working on that in the future, but for now, in order to see when I'm uploading my next videos, you might want to hit the notification bell or you might want to follow me on Instagram because I will also be posting there and you can find that information in the description down below. I'm really excited to share this tutorial with you guys. Um, so let's just go check it out. I'm opening up this petal palette from Fusion Body Art called Leanne's Vivid Rainbow. I'm going to select Tangerine Dream. I'm going to spray the flat side of this paint pal sponge and then squeeze it to help disperse the water. Then I'm going to load the sponge back and forth working towards a creamy consistency. Since there's no contrasting colors on this rainbow cake, I can mix some of the colors together. So I'm just running the sponge up and down the cake for that. Our main focal point for this design will be right here on the bridge of the nose. I'm starting by laying the orange side of my sponge down right here at that point. And then I'm incrementally laying down my sponge at an angle, so not vertical and not horizontal, but somewhere in between. I'm also laying the sponge down incrementally over my eye. Now I'll connect the top and bottom wing, and I'm coming in towards that focal point to create a little indent here. Wiping off excess paint, and then just going over that color again to make it a little brighter. For the bottom wing, I'm pinching my sponge to better control my colors and then laying down the orange side first, then the pink side, and then joining them together to help make it a smaller shape. I feel like sponging with rainbow cakes can be a little bit awkward, but this is the way that I figured out how to manipulate my sponge. So we're gonna go ahead and do that same thing on the other side. You can see here again how I'm pinching that sponge to help separate the top colors from the bottom colors. You don't have to be this precise with your sponging if you don't want to be because we can always clean up the edges afterwards. I'll show you guys how I do that in just a moment. So this is what the base looks like right now. I'm going to reload my sponge again really fast and just go over some of these colors to make them brighter. To clean up those edges, I'm just spraying a clean sponge once. I don't want my bottom wing to come past the width of the top wing. I'm wanting to make sure that there's a gap in between the top and the bottom wing here on the outer corner of my eye. So I'm going to clean that up real quick. Now I'm applying one of my favorite glitters, which is White Hollow from Vivid Glitter, and I'm applying that with a dry sponge. I'll use the back side of that sponge to clean up any excess. I'm going to be using this Flora Brush number 8 from the Face Painting Shop to create the eye spots. I'm going to dip my brush in water and then load that into my Wolf White until I've absorbed all of that water and I'm just left with paint. Then I'm going to spray my brush and go into Tag Light Blue and absorb all of that water. Then I'll repeat that step one more time. I'm using Fab Peacock Shimmer for my third color, and I'm just working that water again to a creamy consistency. I'm going to be carefully stamping down that brush flat, and for those smaller markings, I'm just barely pressing down on the tip of my brush. For the thin lines, I'm using a very light touch. I'm making some petals for the butterfly body, and I'm starting perpendicular to my skin. So let's talk about placement real quick. The eye spots on the top wing are pointing down at that main focal point. And on the bottom wing, I'm placing it high up on the cheekbones. This right here is a little motion that I do to stay symmetrical. I'm painting the butterfly body pretty low to follow that main focal point. It's time efficient to use all of the paint on the brush, so I'm going to use the remaining blue to create some of those thin wispy lines. My brush was getting a little bit dry here, so I'm just going to hydrate it by spraying it just once from a distance. I'm making the thin lines on the bottom wing very curved to follow that curved shape of the cheekbone.
Now I'm grabbing a half inch brush and this split cake called Firefly from Global. This is how much water I have on my brush. I'll work that into the cake and as you can see here, it's pretty dry. Instead of dipping my brush back in, I'm gonna spray it on either side. This will help prevent muddying. And I'm gonna just keep building that color up until it's creamy and vibrant. To outline the butterfly, I'll be using these stamping and dragging motions. To outline the eye spots, I'm manipulating just the dark part of my brush in almost a rosebud shape. And then using my brush vertically and with really light pressure, I'm creating those wispy lines again. I almost forgot to show you guys the butterfly body outline. A little bit of a wet consistency here, but it's basically two triangle shapes and then two wispy lines coming out from that. Here you can see that I'm outlining and I'm just following the shape that is already laid down. I'm not wanting to use the entire width of my brush here, so I'm just kind of hovering that orange edge and specifically using the dark edge to outline these eye spots. Painting those wispy lines and my brush dried out, so again, I'm just reviving it by spraying it. There's still quite a lot of dark blue on my brush, so I'm just going to use that one side of the brush and I'm just going to stamp that blue in the middle of the eye spots. So here I'm flipping my colors around just to add a little bit of interest and then using the dark part of my brush to outline the bottom of that shape. If you're not comfortable doing wispy lines with an angled brush like this, you can use a liner brush, but I find that this method saves me time. I'm using this 3 8 Leanne's Rainbow brush and I'm loading up Fern from Natalie Davies Gold Collection. This step is optional, but I think that it makes this butterfly look just so much more beautiful, so I do recommend it if you have time. I've stamped all around that outline, making sure to leave a little bit of space uh, for that dark blue to show up. And just to bring in some of that color, I'm adding some more wispy lines here. So this is pretty much it. I am gonna embellish it a little bit more, but you could definitely stop at this point. To paint the lips, I'm gonna load up some Fab Magenta Shimmer and then some Fab Sapphire Blue on either side of a Q-tip and just go back and forth between those colors to blend. Using Neon Pink from Vivid Glitter, I'm gonna fill in the center of the lips. Now I'm gonna apply this liquid bling called Glacier Blue from American Body Art all around this butterfly. And I'm working pretty quick and consistently to make sure to get a nice thin line. The very last thing I'm gonna do is just fill in just the bottom parts of those eye spots to add just a little bit more sparkle to this design. And that is going to be it for this butterfly. I hope that you guys really liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So that's it for today. I hope that you guys liked this in-depth butterfly tutorial. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear any and all feedback from you guys. And I would love to hear any design requests that you guys have for future tutorials. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.